US Physics Olympiad year 2016 F equal MA first round Solutions for all problems you can find uh, in the reference of the description below this video If you are not subscribed yet, please do this Problem number 12 Block floats uh, partially submerged in a container of liquid when the entire container is accelerated upward, which of the following happens? Assume that both the liquid and the block are incompressible. Solution for problem number 12. According to Archimedes' principle, we have weight of uh, this block, a row of block multiplied by volume multiplied by G, that's equal to weight of uh, displaced liquid, which is uh, liquid multiplied by displaced uh, volume and VL and multiplied by G. When we have uh, acceleration upward in this uh, system of uh, container, we have additional fictional force, which uh, is uh, changing acceleration of free fall proportionally so it means that we have equation looks like this and uh, from this so we can see that uh, VL it's not changing so it means that the uh, correct answer is C the block does not ascend or descend in the liquid that was the answer for problem 12 problem number 13 not 12 an object of mass m1 initially moving at a speed v0 collides with an originally stationary object of mass m2 equal alpha m1 where alpha less than 1 the collision could be completely elastic completely inelastic or partially inelastic after the collision the two blocks move at speed v1 and v2 Assume that the collision is uh, one-dimensional and that object 1 cannot pass through object 2. After the collision, the speed ratio R2 equal V2 over V0 of object 2 is bounded by next inequalities. Solution for problem number 13. In case of uh, absolutely elastic collision, we have solution for R1 and R2 looks like this these uh, results we can find uh, using energy conservation and uh, momentum conservation for this collision and the best way to solve this problem is to use frame of reference of center of mass and uh, I suppose that you know this result in case of alpha less than 1 we have first object is moving after collision in the same direction as rebounding object 2 and object 2 has maximum possible speed after this collision if we have absolutely inelastic collision they are slip together after collision and uh, object 2 has a minimum possible speed which is equal to which we can find from this relation and now the uh, result will be E, correct answer. Because in case of absolutely inelastic collision, we have minimum possible speed. And in case of absolutely elastic collision, we have maximum possible speed of the second object. So correct answer is E.